Will I get a copy strike on that one? We're about to find out. Um, Back to the Future. One of my favorite trilogies of all time. Trilogies, if I can speak. Um, As you can see, I have this, I'm wearing the same, I'm literally jumping from the Tremors, Arrow, Arrow 4K Tremors review um, over to Back to the Future because, you know, I want to keep going. So you'll see the same shirt. This is minutes after I filmed Tremors. Uh, uh, Well, look, a quick look. Uh, So I am jumping quickly into Back to the Future. Uh, One of my favorite trilogies uh, trilogies of all time. I love this movie, these movies since I was a kid. Obviously didn't, you know, I was way too young to catch these in the movies, but I was able to uh, watch these on TV in the late 90s, uh, late, late 90s, late 80s, and uh, VHS in the early 90s. I've earned, I, I've owned every single one. I, I wish I still had the VHS, I think I sold them. Uh, I, I had all the VHSs of every movie. I would watch, they would be on repeat all the, all the damn time. Didn't buy the Blu-ray version. Um, only because, uh, I think Amazon prime or something at the time, uh, started having, they had all three movies, which just was looked just as good as, uh, as the DV, uh, DVD would, uh, would, um, the Blu-ray, um, had a bunch of, uh, special features that I wanted to check out, but they were all on YouTube. So that kind of deterred me <laughs> away from, um, uh, buying it. But I, I knew at that time when it, everything was said and done, 4K was coming around, uh, was already kind of starting to be released. And I said, you know what? A lot of these movies are going to be, uh, you know, like Jurassic Park, uh, all these stuff were, were, was going to like Lord of the Rings at some point. They're all going to be done in 4K. You know they are. And, and lo and behold, uh, Back to the Future was announced not too long ago in, in 4K. Uh, I, I'll go through the video on sound and everything here in a bit i just kind of wanted to do a kind of show you what's up i got the best buy uh exclusive steelbook version if you can see i don't know am i holding those right i don't know if this is going to focus or not focus focus anyways that's what that's what it looks like um best buy was the only one i think i think zav zavi or zavi in the uk uh, had the similar one they had the the steelbook version as well uh, Best Buy was the only one do, who did this, uh, and I really dig it because they kind of have this little separation. Each one has a separation, uh, you know, that way you could just kind of, uh, they, they're all separate instead of just shoving it into, and they're all kind of just, uh, grinding together. Uh, the other versions were, th- this was enclosed and it was just kind of a, you pulled it out and it was those, it was those it was the ones where the DVDs were kind of wedged in the a little slit that, you know, that kind of always makes me uncomfortable thinking that they're going to get scratched. So I kind of went all out on this one and or half of this was paid because I had a Best Buy gift card that I haven't used in a long time. So, you know, that, that could be another reason. Um, so yeah, 4k UHD comes with the, uh, uh, I got, you got the digital code, the Blu-ray and the 4k HD, of course. And in the back you got, what I really dig, that's really, really cool. And I wish I, I, I want to display it back here when I actually get everything organized. You basically get a, a collage of, of uh, Marty McFly in the, in the DeLorean. It's loaded with bonus features. And it also has new interviews and stuff like that. Uh, o- over one hour of all new bonus features. Uh, there's a look back, the musical. There's a, there, apparently there's a musical. Uh, audition tapes. Uh, and then some other stuff. Plus you get basically all the, the, the stuff they filmed for the Blu-ray, which is really, really, really cool. So yeah, let's go through them. Let's go through them together. Shall we? Um, of course you got the first part of the collage and you got the DeLorean, you got the, the famous clock tower, you got his dad and his mom and then behind here really really cool shot i thought this was really really cool and it actually feels great you know Ooh. okay let's let's not make this weird and of course i don't remember if i used the <laughs> did i use the digital code i don't remember but i'm not going to show it just in case so you got 
you got basically that that's that's what i really got these for because you got like you got little um stuff in the back uh, i don't uh, you don't you don't get that with the uh, normal version you got the 4k yeah you got little collages in the back as well little little stuff so i really really dig that you got the 4k you got the blu-ray in here i'll put the digital um, code that I'm not 100% sure. I'm pretty sure I, I, I redeemed them, so it doesn't really matter. So that's the first one. Second one, you got the middle part of of the DeLorean with uh, Marty McFly in there. And you could obviously, it's most famous for that futuristic sequence, which blew my freaking mind when I was like eight, nine, or ten. I was like, what? Is this the future of filmmaking? Movies aren't going to look this good ever again. And then you got Marty McFly and Hoverboard, which is badass. Even the making of is pretty cool. They were all basically just on strings. You got Biff and his uh, crew chasing after him. Buttheads. Oh, this one doesn't have the digital. I guess because that one... Again, inside you got the 4K. So I'll be the first to admit. Or... I guess not the first, but I'll be one of one of the people to admit that I love the first, the opening of the first, the second one. First one's nearly perfect, nearly perfect. Loved everything about it. The second one, the first, the especially when they're in the future, all the flying cars, Jaws a thousand or fifty or whatever. He's like, ah, the hologram comes out of him. He's like, it still looks fake. Um, love that. Then they started kind of repeating itself you they basically went back to the first one to kind of change some stuff and i didn't like that part i just felt like ever since even when i was a kid eight nine ten i've always i've always when i was watching the trilogy with the family i always made uh, voice my 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 you know i voiced that hey second one's not my favorite they kind of just repeat what they did with the first one that's how i still feel to this day even after uh even after watching it a couple months ago then you got the third one which I really dug. Apparently, the uh, the second and third one were filmed back to back. They were uh, they were written to be one movie, but split into two. So that's basically that's why they filmed these back to back, and they released it in eighty nine and ninety. So the second one eighty nine, third one in ninety. So that's why you have that. So you have the back end of the DeLorean, which I really I really dig because you got the when the, the clock tower is being. Um, the Hill Valley Festival is being built. You got arrows from the Indians and all that stuff. Really, really cool. Also, um, Marty McFly and his, uh, his poncho. Re I, I really, really like how I'm actually just kind of, for the first time, really kind of sitting down. Because I just kind of, when I first watched these, I kind of just threw them on the, uh, into, the, into the player and just started watching them. Um, so here you go. Here you got the... You got the bonus disc, if I can point right correctly, and then you got the 4K and all that stuff. They're really, really, really cool. Let me take let me take out the bonus disc to sh to kind of show you what um, if I could get this out. That's what you get. So you get if you had to choose, and I don't think these are available. Just like the Lord of the Rings uh, uh, steel books. Um, are not available, but they're kind of overpriced in my opinion. I don't think this one, I think I paid 60 something dollars and the Lord of the Rings were, um, they were too much. There was like $130. I'm like, I like Lord of the Rings, but not that much. All right. So let me put them back into the cases, uh, and talk about the video, the audio and video, uh, quality on this. So I'll, I'll tell you right now, these look, these are damn perfect in, in terms of in video there i could not find an ounce of grain in here uh, this this movie is 35 years old i cannot in each one of them they cleaned it up so much that it, it looks like it's a movie that was basically filmed recently that and, and in my opinion i don't know how i feel about that a it looks fantastic but B, it kind of takes away for, for, from it from a bit. I guess I like grain in some of these movies. Um, but sometimes when they kind of clean it out a little too much, I don't know if that takes away from the movie. 
In my opinion, it's kind of a mixed bag for me, but either way, I absolutely was blown away by how clear and clean this look. By the time the third one rolled around with the with the the flying train time machine thingy, I was like, "Wow, all that shit still holds up." Um so yeah, the the sound, come on, you got DTS, I think you got yeah, it, H, there's HDR10. That's HDR10 compatible. Uh DTS Ultra HD Premium. Yeah. So they they went they went they didn't hold out on anything on this one. So you could tell they invested uh, a good amount of resources to get this uh to get this looking as good as it does. Um Definitely get this. Uh, I'm trying to. I'm trying to think because I'm like, if I know a lot of people talk about how they 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 love green in their movies and kind of cleaning it up a little too much is just kind of makes kind of loses the aesthetics in in the movie. But again, the sound is awesome. the 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 the, the video quality is great. This is probably the best this movie is ever gonna look. I don't think they could go any higher. I don't think. I, I don't know unless they're able to make some of these movies that are about thirty years old. Uh, look, <laughs> look like, uh, you know, up to four, 8K or whatever. I don't know what to tell you. We're just going to, I don't even think the human eye could detect 8K. I think we could do up to 4K, right? Or something like a 6K or I don't know. Because they, they'll film some of these movies um, in 6K and have to dumb it down to 4K because it's just no point. The human, I think next, basically they're going to have to jack in uh, AK into our brain so we could actually register it. Um, if I had to give an overall rating, just, just everything, I would basically give this a nine out of 10. This is probably a 9.5 out of 10 of anything. It just, it kind of gets knocked down a, a couple pegs. Um, uh, just for, I just, just how I feel about them. They, it's almost the perfect, it's basically the perfect trilogy, 9.5 out of 10. Um, if you could find it, don't pay, don't overpay for this. Do not, you know, fall, you know, get this on eBay or whatever, unless it's at a decent price. But if you're ever to find the uh, Steelbook editions on these one, please do yourself a favor and grab these because A, you could lay them out on display where it's a collage, or you could just do what I do and just kind of display it like this. Um, but yeah, there are different versions still available right now on, uh, at Amazon and Best Buy uh that that are the non-steelbook version they're just the kind of digit pack that you pull out and they're all stuffed in there and yeah, that's another way to go i uh, you know i understand i think there's like a 20 dollars difference between this and the uh again best buy exclusive only you have to go through best buy and sometimes these guys come back in stock uh there's been some movies that i've i'm like oh man i missed out like the evil dead which i'm about to watch today to review um the evil dead uh one and two 4k steelbook edition which which was awesome i was like i'm gonna get it i forgot about it and by the time i went to look for it it was all sold out then about a week ago they all came back in stock and i was able to grab one here in arizona but yeah perfect trilogy perfect audio and video never look better watch it on a sound system watch it on the biggest tv 4k tv hdr dolby vision tv that you that you're able to and you'll have a good time until next time guys take it easy